What is up, friends? It is good to see all of your lovely self. And the whole cooking thing. Apparently, I haven't arrived yet. There we go, I'm there now. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second. How am I not here yet? But I'm here. Much delay there is. It's quite a bit. Um, let's do some cooking. It's the third day in a row that I managed to do this. Slowly optimizing these as we get there. Got them at 45 minutes now. I really want to try and get them to about 30 or so. Something that's shorter, which can be easier. Don't worry too much about too much else with it. And I want to see if I can also experiment with this one as well and see if we can make some recording. I've got to change the camera. The camera's leans down a little bit, but it's a pain to change once I've started. And I've started. We're just not going to worry about it too much today. Um, look. Hopefully I got things working correctly, and if I didn't, oh well, we'll know in a second. But we have a dish this time, before we change the meat up. Yeah, but the sounds on the start screen is weird, yeah I know, I need to find some music for that. Copyright free that I can use, or I can just use stream beats, I just never want to keep it with like an ad or something. I might just change that up, I'm not going to figure it out. We got I'll make it work when I make it work. It's one step at a time, I guess. Let's talk about what we need today. Um, I've already got pre-prepared, as usual, to kind of save on some time. Quinoa, we have like three quarters of a cup of quinoa, which is soaking in cold water. We've got one uh, already chopped up, just for the sake of time. This mix here, some Middle Eastern spice mix. We've got a lemon. We've got on the chopping board already. If we go back to my normal view, we this here, which is a mixture of a variety of greens, so right now it is um, and rock, that's what they said, parsley and mint, and green spring onions that are there, and that is pretty much everything. This is a relatively, again, about lovely ingredients, as amazing as they are. Uh, we can get rid of that, we can get rid of, oh, that's the wrong order, but don't worry about it, it's fine, and go like that. Don't worry about it, it's fine, don't worry about it. First order of, I've already done, which is rinsing chopping tomatoes, spring onion, you want to finely chop that, and then the greens, you want to, I left that intentionally, so public domain music could work, certainly could, um, some stuttering, I'm not quite, this is sometimes the, um, internet here isn't, just uploading like 30 megabits a second basically, 20 to YouTube and then 7 for my own RCMP, sometimes it stutters, but I can see it on my end, that it's not stuttering on my end, so. So there's, there's the occasional bit, but you know, we do what we can. I guess we do what we can. But yeah, so that's step. We've already done a huge amount of that. You want to finally chop it, otherwise it's, gonna... it's not going to work out. Uh, we're going to simmer the quinoa for 15 minutes. So the idea with this is we need a pot. And I'm going to just do the quinoa over there, just because, frankly, there's not much to really see when it comes to making the quinoa. This is a dirty pot, my bad. Use this one. The I need my drainer where I put you. Oh, what I'm using. Chuck you in there for a moment. We're going to drain the king. Basically, boil it and then simmer for it. You can go in there and then a two to one ratio. So that's three quarters of a cup of quinoa. So I'm going to want about about. Give me one. Oh, wasn't. A, um, about a cup and a half of quinoa if we can get it. We should be able to. Alrighty. Stuck up a little bit, but a couple of quick hits will take care of the rest of that. There we go. Right, so a cup and a half. Got a one cup measure here. That's the first cup. And then two and a bit of those. That wasn't really a full cup, that was a little bit. Because I was impatient, as I always tend to be. So with that, that, and then a little bit more, and another, and that's probably a bit more than that actually. And there we go, that'll do nicely. So we're actually going to chuck that over behind us, and we'll come back to that later on. 
common when you see them boiling, because you've always had boiling fried it. Quickly rinse this bowl out, we are going to use it again. For our chicken. Get to momentarily. So that's going to basically boil and then simmer it, cover it, and it's done. So we have our chicken now, which we're going to get to in a bit because I have to use the knife. We're going to do that momentarily. We go back to step one. And the greens. So we need to basically finally chop all these greens, uh, which I've already rinsed. Because you know, always rinse your, rinse your veggies and greens when you get them. Chop the living heck out of them, really. There's not too much more to that. Basically, just combine with that green onion, so that's why I don't mind them being on the same board or combining a little bit. At the end of the day, it's all going to get mixed together. A salad of sorts. I don't want like rocket is really overpowered, and um, getting huge chunks of it sucks. Cut it out when you make like smaller bits. It's not nearly as the song. No, not because the power supply did. I turned this on. The frying pan going as well. That's fine. So we'll chuck you on there. We'll chuck a little bit of oil on you. Uh, no, we won't. We'll grab the bigger oil. That's my bad. Bit of oil in here. Chuck it on medium heat and we'll just let that heat up while we're doing other stuff. Don't turn it off. There we go. And we're going to turn it down to 800. I don't trust it at like it recommends, and just get back cutting up our greens, which are mostly done. So this method is you tend to find that the full outliers and you kind of move the knife around a little bit, otherwise, you don't get them. You can also process it really well, and you can chuck it in like a food processor, a bullet, which is probably too fine, uh, but you could, you could, you could very much if you wanted to this in a bullet blender and like ultra ultra fine. May not be a bad idea, but um, you lose a bit of presentation if you do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to chuck all this in the bowl. Basically at the end to stir everything up, because it's from all by the chicken getting stirred together at the end. Eat that bit because that was uh, not chopped. Get all this slowed surely in there. I'm going to rush it, otherwise I'll tell you Speaking from experience, how you lose happy There you go. Sick. Green's done. Already that for a bit. Alrighty. Excellent. It's going to be in our, oh, hold on. Wrong thing. There we go. It's going to be step. This is getting on nicely now. We need to get our chicken prepared, so we're gonna go back to this small bowl. We need to prepare it first, so we're gonna basically coat it in this spice mix. We don't, uh, we don't have any of the spice mix sticking to the side of the bowl, because that can happen, and that's never fun. Go back into our chopping board zoom, chop in the spice mix. Tap a couple of times so we don't lose any. Let's give us a bit of water in here because I washed up relatively shortly before starting. Now I'm looking into like some particular cafe. It's going to cost me like to license it, like 100 bucks in a bit. So I'm like, oh, that's a lot of money. I don't know. Chicken open. This knife's gone straight. Use the knife I've had more chicken on. I'll drain it out here. Now we have chicken. So we're going to coat here. I'm going to use this again because it doesn't really matter at this point. We're not going to use this chopping board for anything else. We're just going to use this as our place to hold stuff. Okay, so I've used tenderloins here. You can use whatever you want. I like tenderloins because that's just tenderloins are great. I can't argue them too much. Um, that said though, I don't think there's nearly enough spice mix. All these tins. They're lacking, so I'm going to just lightly dab them, just so that they at least all get a little bit. Because at first, and there's like none left in the others, which is a bit. Odd. So 
So I definitely recommend a bit more spice mix than what they give you. So give me a chicken chunk breast in here. I can. Because once again, much like meals I've made, we've underestimated the spices. And as a result, we are left wanting. Chuck it all and transfer. Okay, the quinoa is almost boiled. Probably a minute or so in a little boil. Which is good. For about three to four minutes on the pan. I wish our hands were quick. And this might be a meat thing, but I'm not a big fan of it, so. We're going to get our slick and tongs. We're going to go back to the normal view and we're going to chuck these. Three to four minutes aside, and then we're basically almost done. These are going to finish a bit before the quinoa does, but that's okay. Because it'll give them time to, uh, we can just put them in that way if we want to. So that's a good way to do it. Move that a bit, there we go. That. Some flat across the pans, whether you're cooking them. So 6.13, we're going to them. We're going to turn the heat just being a bit quiet. There we go. that now. And to go back to our salad bowl, we're going to add a couple more things. The tomato I chopped earlier. So basically, everything's going in here. Um, Alright, cool. Let's stir that up. Only... I'm sure I'm going to my pasta or salad. I'm not going to use that for the time being. Let's mix this up a little bit for now. Okay. Alright. And for last, we'll put this in at the end. Because the quinoa is best for you to go in here as well. And, yep. That is... Going down, so... Let's turn that down and grab a lid for it real quick. And uh, that is the right lid. And then we're golden. Uh, what time did I say to flip? Why I say it, back again. Come along nicely, though. Yeah, come along nicely. The oil around a little bit, though, just something a little bit too. Oil, there we go. There we go. Watch when I finally get my grow. Oh, that I can't have like. For this part, and just have it like there, like on the pot, so you can see it way more clearly compared to the way we've got it now. Because you can see it's kind of optimal, I don't think. At least compared to, you know, what we could do otherwise. So, but for now, we'll do. What's calling that? I think it was uh, another minute or so we'll flip it. And that's what kind of 620. This definitely to be done first. That's okay. That's alright. That's alright. Cooking for dinner today, everyone. What are you making today? 630. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna flip them a minute earlier. Because I don't trust this. Yeah. This, this, this thing sears. Even at medium, as you can see. So I'm gonna turn it down. As you can see, it's definitely charged some of them. We caught it before it got too bad, so it makes them look nice, right? And it's also, they've also got spice mix on them too, which doesn't help. Or it does if you want to get that particular child. Hey, look at this. They look good. They look good. So good. Almost time to play. I think you used the pink to play today. I probably used the pink to play. Small Pikachu plate with a really good photo of last time. I just serve them on these tiny plates every time now. Because they work, like they're tiny and the serving but it looks amazing on the camera. Big one, because I think actually um it's gonna look weird because it really only fit like one or two on top. I don't know. Show the big one on the 
did the small one yesterday, and the photo looked amazing. That's why I'm kind of like biased towards the small one. Well, I've been tinkering with my lighting for the uh, today because I've been trying to do a YouTube short today. So I'll stick to thingies these will come off. And that's another 10 minutes. So it's a bit. So it's still that big. I'm going to move these more charred ones. Side. I think that side just cooking a bit more for whatever reason. That's okay. And we'll go from there. Uh, so tonight I'll do the stream, we're going to stream more. Ryan is the demo as well. Our first multiplayer stream. You can all join in. We'll start from 8.30. And we'll go onwards until uh, probably about 7, so we'll go to bed. So we're going to be up early, and I guess class has been really fun. So I am learning it at a really fast rate. Normally during uni, I learn maybe a thing. Like in a week, in a week, about 30 words, and 10 kanji, and... I'm learning in a day, no kanji, but I'm doing my own kanji study. So, but like through, through through schooling, I'm doing a 50 vocabulary. Four grammar points a day. So I need to practice, or I'm just... Um, that said, that we get lots of chance to practice. We do three hours of time to talk, thankfully. But it's still a lot, and it's like hard for me to keep up with. So I need to be careful. So we'll leave this on the, um, in the pan. We'll take them off the pan. Just leave them in here. Got the oil. Because then they'll get a little bit more of it. A little trick you can do with meat, if you're not aware, is if you put it in oil on oil, when it's done, there we go, put it in oil when it's done, which these should be, it'll keep cooking and it'll keep it really. Take a look at this. Yeah, look at that. Oh, boom, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. They have come out looking like that golden brown you're looking for. They are looking delish. Look at that one. That was, that was a kicker. Keep my another, of course, so they're probably the ones that charge a bit more. But okay. Turn you off. Turn you off. I'm going to cover these for a little while. And also, the Paying the juices. You can put the juices in when you're done too, which is good. And for now, we're done with most everything actually. Now all we're doing is waiting for the quinoa. So when what we're going to do with the quinoa is, I'm going to move to, I think step five is the last step. Should be. It's been a six step meal this time around. Is we add uh, lemon juice to the quinoa, and we season it, and add olive oil, and put it all be done. Which is good. Again, this one's a, a nice and quick one, which was the idea. Curious about it itself, uh, from based in Melbourne, New South Wales. And Pepper Leap is the company I use for these. I've been using them for almost a year now. Actually, longer than I have a lot of, probably a couple of years, looking at the amount of recipes. They're very good. Recommend them very highly. So, we're going to wait for that to be done in nine minutes or so. We'll fluff it up with a fork. Chuck it in a bowl. I'm going to chuck it in a bigger bowl. This bowl's not going to be big enough. Uh, I was cleaned it. Fairly sure I cleaned it. Guess I did. Oh no, wait, that was still a fruit. That's right, because yesterday I made a lot more pasta than I expected, so I still have some remaining. So we'll chuck it in here and it'll be fine. We'll just stir it. We're stirring it at the top. Um, we'll chuck it in there. We season it with salt and pepper, drizzle some olive oil on it, and then it's done and the chicken goes on top. And then it's really all there is to it. Again, I, I like the fact that, you know, you can make something delicious with minimal... Uh, it's a big thing about pepper leaf, is all these dishes... ...in half an hour to make. Let's take, normally I take my time with them, like the prep, I like to take my time, I don't, I don't need to rush. Today I had to rush a little bit, lost track of time, but normally I just, you know, take it easy, slowly chop it up, and then... ...go, and then... Easy done. You got a nice tasty meal. This particular amount feeds two or feeds you twice if you, you know for dinner and then I have it for lunch the next day because um I have class and then after class it's three hours with a 
amount of breaks in between. It's like a 10 minute break then a in that all we get. So I don't really have time to make lunch during that time because class from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. finish. So 2 p.m. jugo wa tada tamasho. So which is amazing. Uh, speaking of this, the grammatical form we learned today. So it's like jugo tada, which means like when class has when. Something happens, so I can go. You know, he'll go handle something else. So like, I can, I can eat. I can eat. Uh, but normally for me, it's I eat. So something else to be fair. So yeah, there's your lesson for the day. Jugo ni owatta. He'll go handle something else. And then I start work. After that, like I have a pretty set routine now. So I get up at like what seven? I eat normally, but I've been lazy. I've got up at nine. Breakfast, work on YouTube short stuff, class from 11 till lunch, work on YouTube short stuff, cooking stream, uh, work on YouTube short stuff, or like chill time, that's just my chill time, gaming stream in the evening, and then um, a bit of revision before bed from what I learned from the previous uh, for classes, because that way I've done this in the morning. In the evening to reinforce it a little bit and then go to bed. But today I need to talk more about ta -da, ta -da, and two other forms of learnt today I can't fully remember right now. I know I know I'm uh, uh, teaching my much which I already really I already knew that one, that's not a problem. Ta -da is the one I want to focus on a lot more today. Uh, it's a very important one to, to know. Another one too, didn't we? I think I already knew it. I've gotten lucky with a lot of the stuff I already learned. I already know. I feel for those who perhaps do not. It's a uh, of not know a chunk of it like I do, it's very hard to keep up. Like, we are studying at an insanely fast, insanely fast pace. Um, faster than 2014, which was, which is double to triple the pace. This is faster than that, so. Insane. During my chill time, I built some Archie decks and really go hard memorizing these, because I want to get a, a good grade on it, even though it doesn't count towards credit. Um, still want to get that, you know, want to get that S rank, because they have S rank, 90%. S rank, not the S rank. Uh, tomorrow, thankfully, is Asian uh, sorry, area studies class. So tomorrow we get to go explore the Arima region. Arima is a onsen town in Kobe. Kobe. Very curious about. I, I can't wait to see what I can learn about the uh, Arima area. Um, I'm actually really excited to learn. A lot of my classes is because during my masters, I'll spend a year of it in Kobe. So I'll know a lot about the area already. And uh, they've got a whole onsen district, they've got a sake brewery, got heaps of cool stuff. And they're ultra close to Osaka to Kyoto. Um, and like, if I wanted to live somewhere, it would not be Tokyo. Tokyo's too busy. But all my friends are in Tokyo, so I'll eventually live there. But I would much rather live in Osaka. So, gonna make And um, Osaka's like half an hour away, it's ultra close. Um, which is good. You can go there and go to the JoJo's ramen store. Get Jojo ramen. And if you're broke forever, that'll be worth it. Excited for that to do my masters. But yeah, that was what I learned today. How many of you played the MH Rise demo? Have you all played it yet? I hope you have. If you haven't, that's fine. If you have, that's fine. Um, we'll play some tonight. We will play some tonight. And it Very good. And of course, um, any feedback to improve. The feedback in here was I got the timing wrong. I should have started the key. Um, I should have had it, frankly, like good to like on the boil already before I started. And, um, but um, I tried. I tried. We're getting better. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna make tomorrow. Is it hot tomorrow? It's probably hot because that'll determine whether I go to the store or not. If I go to the store, we'll make a with writer. If I don't go to the store, we'll make a apricot mustard pork with sweet potato. Either or. Although that's it, tomorrow is an off day. So, stream actually. So, uh, and we'll go back to cooking Thursday, Friday. Wednesday is my day off streaming. Not day off content, 
my day off streaming. Um, so we won't be streaming tomorrow. Two will stream. Um, I'll probably go to the store. I'm going to buy a whisk because I want to make some matcha related content because all my delicious and has come in. Like my tatami mat and things. I just need to wait for it all to arrive. And then, um, get the whisk. I want to make like a dolchana latte, which is better. Where you basically get thick and cream and you whisk it for like eight minutes with matcha. It turns into like this thick green cream. Plus you stack it with ice, you put milk and then you put that on top. It looks amazing. So I'm hoping to do that. Um, and yes, yeah, see how we go. Because I've got like my good matcha, I've got my hoji cha, which is awesome. We'll see how we go. We've got about two minutes left on this quinoa. Yeah, check it real quick. So it might be done. I might just say it's done because I'm not seeing any water. I don't see any water, but it's taken care of. It's taken care of. We should be good. Also, I'm hungry, so that's looking good. I'm going to quickly flatten up the floor. Yeah, that's done. That is done and looking amazing. Taste it too. It always does. So we're going to now. It's meant we're meant to let it cool. Problem is, I got timing wrong, so we can't really get it. It's the hard part because I want to stir it up with all of this. What I will do is, wouldn't normally do this, but pot because I'm out of bolts. So we'll grab um this pot, which now is I think actually all left behind, one or the other. Either way, I've got this pot here. Next, we're going to get my spoon. Okay, chuck all of the white in there. We're going to crash. Fortunately, you can. You got a good view. You got a good view. You get how wide that camera is sometimes, though. Good camera. Look at that. There we go. That's going to go there. Get that down the bottom a little bit. We'll zoom in on it. Some as well. There we go, that one. Now, there we go. We have a fair bit of tasty as quinoa. Next step is to get a listing. All that in. All the greens and tomato and spring onion we prepared earlier. And we'll off screen, that's okay. Stir all that up to begin with. Get this. It's looking good. Ta -da. I have to go look at my camera placement, but that's fine, don't worry about it. We're going to get our lemon, and we're going to just squeeze lemon in. So you get some lemon juice going as well. Excellent. Second half. Whoa, that was a burst in the heart. That one exploded. It's just really, really explosive lint. It's what we want. Like, uh, structural integrity of the failed on the side. Like it's flat out on the side. It just failed completely. Huh. Ah, cool. Struggle. We're almost at serving time. We're going to salt and pepper it. Because a little pepper. Uh, go do that, otherwise you have a bunch of stays inside the blinders. And then drizzle some olive oil in. And we're basically drizzle some olive oil in. Oops. Just spill some everywhere, don't worry about it. Too much olive oil, but it's okay, don't worry about it. Just gives it flavour. Flavor. Okay. You also get that shine, that shine that olive oil gives you. Always want to see that too, hey. So, serving time. Going to move a lot out of the way. Going to move that there. Serving boy. Going to put that precariously on the kitchen. And then we are going to quickly. Desk and by my problem, you just put it on the floor and I'll brush it up afterwards. That's what I normally do. But boom. 
and it's time to serve it up. Right. Out. Hungry. I am a productive day. My brain has been in overdrive. Overdrive brain. Ah, looks amazing. amazing. Then, get the chicken. This chicken has been just steaming up a little bit. I'm going to chuck in the good looking bits because, of course, we are. One. This bit now too. I'm gonna go for a long boy. Long boy. Three. There we go. Time to show it off. I'm gonna go turn on the in I don't know, a little bit. Um just give me a second. Have it. All right, friends, let's look at the meal. Oh, look at that. Look at how delicious that looks. Oh, my Lord. I've got the spinning a bit wrong, but don't worry about it. It's fine. You get the idea. You get the idea. Doesn't that look delicious? It's out of the spinning platforms, eh, is what I added. <laughs> um, not really even, but, you know, you get the idea. You get the idea. Well, look at that. Doesn't that look? Very tasty. Oh. Oh, I guess it crashed. Uh, I guess it doesn't exist anymore. It's fine. What happened there? Oh, what happened is the, um, the automator turned off. The spinning thing turned off. It has a, a, a failsafe to turn off. I'm going to go get a fork. I'm going to eat it. And we're going to try it. One sec. I can't see my chat. There we go, Ken. Alrighty. Let's eat. It's like my sir. Nailed it. That's perfect. The tomato is chopped up just the right amount. The greens are ultra chopped up, so it's a mixture of flavors. The salt and pepper wasn't too much. The lemon wasn't too much. The oil helped. Gave it a little bit of viscosity, but um, it was good. Let's try chicken. Chicken's really the make or break part because we kind of stuffed that up a little bit, but you know. It's fine, don't worry about it. Eat the ducky moss. Mmm. Perfect. Never mind. That's absolutely perfect. That is nice and so it's like a bit soft and... Juicy and it's just great. That was it. That was our chicken dish. I'm gonna go chill and eat this for a while. Um, we'll be back at 8:30 with Monster on Rise. I'll see you at 8:30. Thanks for popping in. If you want the recipe, let me know. I can send it to you. Otherwise, it's at the start of the vod. And I will see you all in like two hours for Monster on Rise.